Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from the Charlestown Races and Slots Casino in Charlestown, West Virginia on Saturday evening, October the 15th, and this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Huge night of racing here at Charlestown tonight, folks. Nine races on the card, all stakes event, including the featured race number eight, 10.45 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the West Virginia Breeders' Cup Classic Stakes. Nine furlongs on Charlestown's dirt track. Three-year-olds and up. Race for a half a million dollars. Contenders number seven, Russell Road. Number eight, Plantation. Number three, Son of a Bear. And number nine, Lively. Reparations. Number seven, Russell Road is the overall pace profile leader in this stakes field, racing at or about tonight's distance of nine furlongs on the dirt. Has hit the board in power run fashion in five straight starts, winning twice in this recent streak of the racing consistency. Jockey Luis Perez has been in his irons on seven previous occasions, hitting the board in each, winning six times en route to a positive 47% return on investment in the process. It's back tonight for ride number eight. Number eight, Plantation, a 9-2 to two shot, has also hit the board in five straight, winning three, including a power run win in his fifth race back. Race eight summary, number seven, Russell Road, tops my contenders list, which also includes number eight, Plantation. Number three, Son of a Bear, and number nine, Lively Reparations, seven, eight, three, nine, in the eighth from Charlestown, the $500,000 West Virginia Breeders' Cup Classic Stakes. Bonus long shots. Let's stay right here at Charlestown for another stakes race in race number two. Four to one shot. Number ten, just for real. Qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. Drops in class by four units. Decent speed for this six and a half for a long sprint. Hawthorne race course. Race two, the nine to two shot. Number six, Taryn Song. The overall speed leader in this allowance field sprinting at or about today's distance of five and one half furlongs on the turf. So from Charlestown on a stakes-filled Saturday night, Rick Needham, fourth day at the track.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.